It's hard to say you're the villain in a dinosaur movie because usually the dinosaurs are the villains, you know? But if there's a, if there's a human villain, I guess it would be my character. Um, he's the equivalent of like a Blackwater kind of guy, security contractor. Um, it, you know, you don't approach a role like this playing, you know, thinking of it as the villain. You know, I love my character and I think my character is right and everybody else is wrong, you know. So it's, it's tough to talk about it like, like he's a villain, but I guess from the uh, audience's perspective, he would be the nastiest human in the movie, yeah. In the other movies, they talk about, you know, especially the first one, the whole idea that Hammond has w was to make a Jurassic World. And, and so suddenly here we are at Jurassic World, and, the, and then the rest of the movies are how horrible, how, what a big mistake that would have been. But then now we are in this movie here in Jurassic World, and you realize that they were exactly right. It's not like being on a regular set because what you're, you're seeing all these iconic images around you all the time, and, you know, from like the first movie all the way up to the one you're doing now. So it's a very strange feeling. It's not, you don't, it's not the same feeling that you get on a regular set, you know, because you're seeing, oh, that's the helicopter that was in, you know, that movie, or that's the Jeep that was in that one. And it just it has that kind of very kind of Jurassic feel to it. It's a different feeling.